All right, so we're gonna start this project with some Dollar Tree Hot Wheels tracks, and they come in packs of two, so you'll wanna get four packs of these. We want the narrower side facing up. So I'm going to be kind of placing my tracks out. What we're gonna be doing is we are going to take a small wood dowel, and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue around the bottom and I'm going to push it through one of the holes. All right, so now that this is nice and dry, we're going to add to it. So I'm going to just slide it onto the dowel. So we're gonna keep going around. You'll notice that I'm, depending on what direction I want these tracks to go, I'm kind of alternating back and forth with where I place them. So now that we've placed that, we are going to do another little layer of hot glue. And we're gonna let this take a moment to dry, and then once it's dried, we'll be back to move on to our next step. All right, so now that this has dried, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be taking and folding our tracks over one by one. All right, so. Now that we have our tracks where we want them, you may have to move these around to kind of get the shape that you're looking to get. And the reason I didn't do any hot glue on this part is because I really wanted to figure out how I wanted this to look. So you can put some hot glue on the top once you've chosen what like formation you want to create. All right, so now that we have everything positioned, all the tracks positioned the way that I want them, um, we're gonna be taking a any type of surface you want to add this to um, or add this to. Uh, I actually had this in stock but it was from Dollar Tree from a while back and I'm going to be gluing this to the frame. Okay so taking our hot glue again and I'm just going to press and hold that. So once this is all uh, adhered to the frame we're going to move on to our next step so we'll be back. Okay so now that um, this has been glued entirely and it's, it's had plenty of time to dry. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next step, which is taking um, foam. I got this foam from Dollar Tree. Um, and what you're gonna do, as you can see right here, I started cutting a little slit in the middle. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to, just so you can see what I'm doing on the side, um, we're gonna be wrapping this essentially around the dowel that's in the center. So you can see like right there. Um, we're gonna move on to uh, a fun part and this is uh, this involves using flowers from Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed a bunch of different festive flowers and we're just gonna cut um, a few of them. And this is kind of a little bit harder to see, but essentially we're just gonna be building like a pretty bouquet um, on the, into this foam block. So. We just want to essentially cover the whole thing. Okay, so now you can see my base has been covered with all the flowers that I was using. Um, now what we're gonna do next is we are going to be adding a stem to our pumpkin. Um, so I actually had a, essentially it was from a, it was basically the branch that comes with a um, macrame set. So I actually cut this down, but you could also find like a stick in your backyard. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hot gluing it to the top here. Okay, so now that my stem has been added and it is staying put, we're gonna be taking some ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one end and then I'm going to take some from the roll and I'm gonna group it here. And I'm gonna pinch. And I'm gonna group it again, making the same size loop doing it again. So now we have three. I'm going to do one more. Now we're going to cut it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking some hot glue um, or if you want to use wire from um, or twine, whatever feels good to you, um, we're going to twist that around. And I kind of want it covering up the branch. So I'm going to hot glue 
All right, so while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is gonna be adding some leaves. So now what we're gonna do, now that our, our ribbon has been glued, we're gonna go in and we are going to basically glue down um, the leaves, just to add a little decorative accent on the top. All right, so we're just gonna keep going around just to cover up the base as much as we can. Um, so we'll be back when we are ready to uh, place this in my home. And there you have it, my Hot Wheels pumpkin centerpiece is complete. I really think it turned out great and it was super easy to make and very inexpensive and will make a great centerpiece or just great decor in your home for any of the fall holidays. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching Home Talk and I will see you in the next one.